all the way around, all those things we wanted are here. <laughs> yeah. I remember the day that you guys told me, okay, hold on. All the things you asked for and you wanted are starting to come to you. Take a break here and go for it. And it is truly all those things we wanted um, <laughs> are coming in almost faster than we can handle. Now we're enjoying the process. That was just a sneak peek into the interview I had with Lisa and Alan about their experience with BBB and how their business is just thriving since the program. If you want the rest of the interview, keep listening. Let's welcome back Lisa and Alan to the podcast. Lisa and Alan came on the podcast back in April, so about five months ago. They talked about their experience with Build a Blissful Business, and I wanted to bring them back on to kind of get a little update, see what they've been up to, what they've been able to accomplish. And just a little refresher, if you didn't hear their testimonial before, they came into BBB. They had two different brands selling essential oils, selling, doing journaling workshops, selling journals, and they were feeling overwhelmed with you know, having to do two websites and two different brands and two different avatars. And so we brought them in. We um, created an, an avatar that was going to want both of them, those essential oils and the journals. We helped them blend into one website. So how's it going since then? <laughs> it's going really well. Um, I'm laughing only because we had an event yesterday. So it's one of those day after kind of things that we were talking about. So. Um, we're here and we're happy and things are going well. I love it. So since so it's been about five months and you've really been set up. So what kinds of things are have y'all been able to do maybe in your business or your life that was just sort of like a dream or gosh, when we have time, we'll be able to do, you know, X, Y, Z. Are you finding that there are some of those things that you had wanted to be doing that you're now able to do because things are kind of more set up and automated and maybe systemized better? Absolutely. Um, we were talking about it this morning, just thinking about uh, visiting with you. And how do you want to say that, Al? It's well, well, one of the things that we found out that starting a business, it's a lot of work. <laughs> That's <And> right. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to sugarcoat that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it's a lot of work involved. We wish there was an easy button. There's not. It just takes a lot of work, dedication. It takes time and resources to do what we do. And, it, uh, and we'll elaborate on that a little bit more. But uh, kind of as Alan was saying, going through the BBB, it helped us pull that together. It helped. We weren't having to do all of the research and how does this work and how does that work and are we doing enough and should we be doing more? Mm -hmm. You guys with the program became those resources for us. And we were saying how it took something we were confident and comfortable with and just took it to a new level. You guys helped us like that second set of eyes. Mm -hmm. So we um, now are <laughs> yeah, with a new fresh perspective we've got from your team, which is really helpful because we got our business degrees, you know, 20 plus years ago <laughs> when things were different. I mean, yeah. the concept of business is still there, but the uh, introduction of me, the, the way we communicate with our audiences yes. has changed. Yeah. And, you know, with with that knowledge, you know, I can go back and look at, you know, how to run a business, you know, look at the financial. That mm -hmm. stuff is basically still the same, mm -hmm. but how we reach reach a customer, reach an audience. Yeah. Uh, that was something that wasn't taught back in school. It was back mm -hmm. then, it was, you know, get out and hand, shake hands, mm -hmm. maybe make phone calls, mm -hmm. totally different. So your perspective you brought was allowed us to kind of yeah. narrow in on that with a, with a different, uh, a different method than what we were accustomed mm -hmm. to and what we taught, were taught in school. And you guys in the program became such a resource. And we are communicating with our email list better. We're communicating with our team better. We are um, setting up funnels and working on that piece with that comfort of, oh, my goodness, we got to get back to so-and-so. No. Oh, wait a minute. It's already done. Mm -hmm. You know, and you guys, again, brought that in the program, brought that to us. So, again, took our confidence but helped us focus. Who are we speaking to? How should we speak to them? Uh, what words 
would help us speak better right. <laughs> instead of an academic, you know, how do we simplify and get more impact? So where are we going with this? Uh, we have an ebook with um, extras that is just about this close to going out. And we have an online course we're working on. And uh, again, how many more emails are we sending out right. to our people and communicating? So it, it has changed a whole lot. Like even at our vendor events where yeah. we were, everything was pen to paper. <laughs> you know, we're doing a giveaway. Well, here's a pen, here's a paper, here's a form. Well, we've had our customers saying, where's your QR code? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> so yesterday we showed up with QR codes. So there, it. there's that audience out there that wants it quicker, faster, and I don't want to use a pen. But there were those that said, I'm glad you got a pen because mm -hmm. I like putting pen to paper. And yeah. when we found the journal being represented about yesterday's mm -hmm. expo, they said, you know what? We I love the feel of a pen. And there yeah. are those that wanted the, the QR code. So we catered to both audiences. And that came from working with your team. And that confidence, again, I shouldn't say confidence. It was um, just that boost. Uh, again, the resource, how we brought it together. And we're more impactful. And mm -hmm. we think differently. And we com <laughs> we communicate well, we've always communicated yeah. pretty well, but but it took it to a different level. And now we think differently. And it's smarter, right? Wiser. <laughs> what and, would and you with, say? Yeah, with that website that we've uh, we've invested into and with also with the services, what we found too mm -hmm. is uh, being able to automate some of those uh some of those manual functions like filling out manual cards for a drawing. Mm -hmm. And we have to take all that and manually put it into the website. Mm -hmm. But if you have something simple as a QR code, it automatically dumps in there and it's there for yes. us. Yes. And then it gives us it gives us the leads that are, are critical. That's why we do events is to gather leads so we have, have an audience. And talking to people to complement that online piece we want to do. And then with what you guys have done too, um, as we mentioned, that communication piece, and we're providing more services in less time. We're more direct with the people we're with. Um, it's it's just a smoother transition, and we're hitting our target audience. We know that avatar. We understand how those pieces work together, and it streamlines especially if you're a little bit of a perfectionist. It streamlines our writing. It directs that a little bit better. All of it just, in fact, back to the fact that we had the two different directions we were going. The way you guys pulled it together, <laughs> I can't tell you how that simplified our life. Yeah. So, And it is continuing to. Yeah, one of our things, our observations from yesterday was the audience that we met six months ago, this was when we were starting to really ramp up and get our website and, and giving it the direction we wanted. And that new well, light. Yeah. yeah. They were actually excited to see us. It's like, oh, you guys are back. I bought that book from you this last go around. And we came in with some different branding. I should say more obvious branding, which yes. is with banners and things that uh, represented us. But what people came to see was us. The brand mm -hmm. is us. It's we are the personalities that people came to see. Yeah. And the other things that we learned from your from your team was how to do that, mm -hmm. how to bring the branding, how mm -hmm. to bring you to people, and people wanted to come see you and buy from you. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what we didn't have in our last. I should say a year ago we didn't have that. Well, and we understood as Alan said, we both have business degrees, so it's not that we didn't know. And I have an art background, so we understood appearance. But that's mm -hmm. not branding. We understood branding, but not to the level that you guys brought it to us. So mm -hmm. we were tweaking things we already knew. Mm -hmm. And you guys brought that out of us, mm -hmm. brought it into our conversations, as we mentioned. You brought it into our work. You're bringing it in. There's, I don't know how many times, just yesterday, because it was our first show of the fall, you guys were there. We um, had conversations about it. All the pieces that are clicking, they're like they're coming together now in a way they weren't before, and they feel solid. Yeah. So our base is more confident because yeah. before 
sometimes we're like, I think this is the right direction. I think this is where we should go. But we were spending too much time maybe over here, too much time over there. And then right. where's our energy and time for the mm-hmm. people we need to be in front of? Right. Mm-hmm. And working with you guys brought all that together. So now we feel like we're going a direction. Yeah, we're no longer in the fog. <laughs> we can see through the fog <laughs> and we can see a path ahead of us. We can see where we where we need to be going and where we need to focus energy. Yeah. Versus just time and just doing things just because that's what we've done all these years. That Okay, stop doing that. That's not working. <laughs> yeah. We had to realize that. Yeah. We're smiling more. We're laughing oh, more. Oh, I love that. And <laughs> we're having more fun. Even though in some ways we're working harder because we get it. It's passion driving that. Mm-hmm. It's not, oh, my gosh, we got something. You know, we got this extra to do or that. And we're not sure we're doing it. Now we're enjoying the process. Mm. It, took a, it took a different mindset to get there. <laughs> we couldn't take what we were doing a year ago and try to make it work because what we were doing was exhausting. Very, it was exhausting, and we didn't have quite the success that we that we that we have today. And we don't. And we didn't have the direction. And I should say the clarity. We have some clarity mm-hmm. of, of where we're going with this. And our email list has taken off. Uh, we have many more options for that coming in and people sharing. So uh, just all the way around, all those things we wanted are here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have those that are, that are, that have participated in the expos and we're very happy to say, yeah, we want to know more. Mm-hmm. Now that we have that, there's, it's critical that you follow up. Otherwise, what we did at the, mm-hmm. all, you know, we, our 12 hour day yesterday. <laughs> doesn't mean nothing unless you do yeah. something you've got to do something with that and that is what we've learned well through your group through the funnels that you yes. created and because we use that in our speech now too and back to who knows where this is going i remember the day that you guys told me okay hold on all the things you asked for and you wanted are starting to come to you take a break here and go for it and it is truly all those things we wanted um are coming in almost faster than we can handle, including um, a community leader yesterday um, talking to us about um, presenting, doing a workshop for community uh, employees. And could we take this to another? And we're getting ready to do a retreat uh, in a couple of weeks. And we have a full slate on top of our jobs of classes we're teaching uh, through January, like 14 or something and other vendor events. And it's not daunting. Our schedule's Mm -hmm. a little silly, Mm -hmm. but we feel it. We're streamlined. And especially when we're thinking about the online and the ebook and those things that we're coming up with Mm -hmm. to reach more people and yet have that personal connection with them like we have enjoyed making to feel that change right with the individuals to answer personally and yet still streamline and and bring in a larger audience which is more revenue i mean it's just this like and that's exactly right we were we 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 had a product a single product and we were kind of focused on that single product as a source of revenue but as we started to listen to what our audience was wanting whether that be you know participating at expos or community ed classes or retreats that's what our customers were asking us mm-hmm. for so we had to take that we broadened it and we have multiple streams of revenue <laughs> not all coming from what we thought it was going to come from yeah and then that's what that was amazing. Okay, stop trying to think that is your source of yeah. revenue. It is part of it, but there's you can't leave all this other revenue, you know, on the table because it's it's yeah. saying please listen <laughs> to us, me. Yeah, yes. just talk to us. We want more yeah. than just what your what you think your product line is. Listening to our mm-hmm. audience changed our perception of, of what, how we have to expand that. And we came into it thinking we were on top of this because we we're not you know we got our act together yeah yeah but we (laughs) came in trying to pre-plan what others would think and there's a difference between knowing your audience and planning and bringing the resources you shared with us and taught us that education piece 
that helped us understand why we're doing it, how things work. Now we've got the tools so that as we're talking to people, as we're bringing in the audience, they're telling us what they need and we are letting it go and gleaning from that all these wonderful little treasures that are inspiring the ideas for the next. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and it sounds like you have time to do that. Time now to actually like take it in and then create what they're asking for. Much more time and it's more happy time. Because there there were some times that the frustrations and feeling overwhelmed because we do work. Mm-hmm. And especially Alan, I mean, we never know at the drop of a hat if we're on the road and helping other companies. So to to then balance with our own things, it was tough. Now we feel like it's joined and again we work better together and we're happier, which was important to us yeah, because we're that's, number one. Yeah, that's yeah. key. Is, mm-hmm. is we can we can make this work together. And when our <laughs> when our customers or even our students they they see us together, they see it as a collective effort. They see that mm-hmm. you know these kind of these two people are kind of happy. And they look <laughs> and they look like they enjoy what they do, and that is. Again, part of that branding, that is a part of us. They come to see mm-hmm. us because they, it's something different in us than than they've seen with others. So, mm-hmm. And that that's, came from working with you guys. That's and amazing. And brought to us. That's amazing. I can just see, if you are watching on YouTube, y'all can just see the glow. Like, I can see the glow, Lisa, in your cheeks and your smile and just, like, the connection that you two have. Like, I just love, I love it all. Um I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you um, that you guys have, you know, it does, it takes work and it does take time. Like this is not going to happen overnight. You know, it's been, this is like a five month check-in since you've really gotten things set up, you know, and you were in the rounds previously before that. So, you know, it hasn't been, it hasn't been a year, you know, Mm -hmm. and you've accomplished so much, but it also doesn't happen in a week's worth of time. You know, and one other thing that we were thinking about is you guys Um, we ended up, we changed platforms, but you guys would have worked with us if we were still on WordPress or if we hadn't switched to get oiling or if we'd been Punjabi. Um, You were all so knowledgeable and okay, let's work with that, you know, and you brought that piece to it too. So we were thinking, oh, you know, what other things are we going to need to buy or make or whatever? No, you just like, okay, here's what you've got. Let's do it. And so that was helpful for us as well. And it married those other pieces together so beautifully that it never felt like here's another add on, here's another this, or we got to shift that. You just, no, this is no big deal. We work it together and here's where we go. And it was like, oh, it doesn't have to be complicated. You know, yeah. I've gone be- complicated. I've gone complicated and realized. <laughs> how much stress that can add. So even we like, you know, oh, let's add this program on and this one to do this fancy thing and that fancy thing. And it's like, now it's too much. And so I learned the hard way. And so now I really help guide students like, let's keep it super simple. Let's do one platform. Oh, you want to do that? We can we mm-hmm. can work, we can figure that out um, in here to not make it complicated. And that's important, especially in the beginning when you're starting out, yes. when it's all new and fresh. Simple is really the best. Well, and you right. guys, you know, I had barely, you know, I was doing even graphics the hard way. And it was just teetering on Canva, but didn't have time to develop. It was easier to use what knowledge I had in the other things I was juggling around. But that's, Canva was a good example of what you guys did. Your videos, put it together, Claire's work on and teaching that. And within that long, I was like using Canva everywhere. And it became a no brainer. And the simplification, holy moly, I was, (laughs) I went from hours messing with things in different forms to, huh, I got this. I like this. I'm using this. One of the other things that we found that, you know, with our old website, we had probably a hundred different articles in there that we spent uh, countless hours putting together. So when we were switching that up, it's like, oh, there's a lot of good content here. 
we had to refresh it, but we didn't have to go dig it and go find a lot of new content. We was able to recycle that and we're able to take in every article we write now, it's like, okay, I, I we need we want to put that into the blog, but we also don't have to go and reinvent that article. We can share it on with other platforms, whether it's Facebook or Instagram mm-hmm. or, or or a newsletter, so we can recycle it. And it's 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 that's what I think gives us the extra bang for our articles. So mm-hmm. we don't need to just set it out there one time and say, okay, well, I hope somebody reads it. We'll put it out there multiple times mm-hmm. because, every, because all of our audience mm-hmm. is, is in different spots. Mm-hmm. And then again, when, as Alan's saying, we say <laughs> you take that article, we now look at it with different eyes. So though it's there, the previous article, now we're looking who's the avatar? Where are we going with this? What are we offering? Back to what you taught us, and some of the steps what are we looking for and it's become second nature to use it as a quick check how does this fit and then tweak 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 and it's out love it it says uh, you know is it going this direction is it gonna oh it's going this way no it pulls it all together nips it often shortens what could get wordy pulls that together and now it's a product that directly fits with confidence. So, I love it. Y'all are amazing students because you really did take kind of what we gave you and you took it in and you were like, okay, let's do this. And now you're putting it into action and it's working for you. So thank you. I appreciate you for trusting us <laughs> to give you the, you know, the knowledge and like, look, look at it this way, go at it this way. And you you took that in and you're really doing it. And I can just see the difference that it's making in mm-hmm. everything that you're doing. So thank you. I appreciate you for, for putting in the effort to do it. And I love seeing it pay off. I can't wait to check in, you know, in another five yes. months to kind of see what's happening with your business. I just saw you guys on your um, Instagram putting your sticker on the back of your truck with your boundtojournal.com website. So that's super exciting. So I just, I love seeing it all and I love following your journey. One last thing before we jump off, for the person out there that is is feeling overwhelmed to like all the things to do. I think you've kind of shared with them that like, if you're feeling overwhelmed, there is a lot to do and this is going to simplify it for you. What about the person out there that's really like, this is a big investment for my business and and still kind of on the fence with that and they're not, not sure. What would you say to them about the investment? I, again, that's one thing that I mentioned about business. There is a cost to it. There's mm-hmm. a co- You got to have some capital to invest in your business if you want it to succeed. And for us, and we looked at it as you got to trust the process. You got to trust mm-hmm. the people behind the scene. And hopefully our testimony is, you know what, we have we trusted the process. It was a lot of work to get to the point where we could see through why we were being taught what we were taught and showing different ways to do business. We trusted the process. We see it now unfolding before us and having that open mind, trusting the process and an open mind and be willing to invest in your business. Yes. Too. And, and to, to add to that, <laughs> One of the things that we've come back around on top of that to say, what was it costing us before in time and wasted energy? And how, I mean, my gosh, what now takes us, you know, this much time took us this much time, heartache, stress, that impact wasn't worth what money we put in then. Now we're using anything that we put any money into, we're using it wiser. So anything we've already established, um, you know, if uh, just to say, you know, whether it's website or events that we're going to, now we know our money is wisely spent. We know where it's going. And that's where that education piece with you guys is so valuable yeah. because we might be still way back kind of at square 1.3 you know not getting any bang for our buck no turnover fewer names fewer students all of those pieces how do you put a price tag on what we lost yeah tools and resources yeah. is what your team did a great job of and we, yeah, they, and, they don't mean anything unless you put them to practice. So. And so if I look at what would have been branding training, what would have I, what would I have spent on, we have spent on coaching? What would we have spent on 
you know, going down the line of branding, all the things you guys worked with us on, the coaching for copyright, the training for funnels, all of those pieces that you hit in Blissful Business, plus the subtleties and the knowledge you have from doing it yourself that you gave us and shared with us, we put the price tag on it. If we could find the people, we couldn't find the people. We looked to that that spoke to us in a comfortable call. Um, what would you say? Just common, right. matter of fact, personable, personable yeah. way. We couldn't find those people. You brought all of that together in one package, which might to some feel like a big bite at one time, but you made it doable. You you broke it in financially into chunks, but again. That package is worth much more than that. And good coaches push you, and you and you and yeah, we got we felt like, oh my god, they're pushing us. We got to do something. But again, <laughs> we'll, we we we'll made we made up. the investment, and we know that we needed to be pushed. So that was huge part. It's yeah. not to say okay, here's the program, uh, here's the costs, but no, it's, it was there was accountability that we that were held to, mm-hmm. and we had to be pushed. Sometimes we we so, didn't always meet it. Yeah, we and yeah, we we didn't. We we wanted to push as hard as we could, but you know, given that there's life, you got to live life <laughs> in between trying to run a business, our own business, and then and take the time to do what we've invested our our, our resources into. Mm-hmm. But no, to me, it's you got to trust the process, trust the people behind it, and watch it work. Mm-hmm. And look at some of the testimonials that were this these processes have actually been a success and has changed people's yeah. life in a lot of a lot of different ways. And it boosted business. It. Yeah. it it's not only bringing in more income, but again, what it's done to our psyche, what it's done to our, even our relationship, what it's done to our daily life, freed us up. How do you put a price tag on that? Mm-hmm. I can't imagine being back where we were and spinning the wheels to the point of burnout. You guys pulled it together. Let's sit. Let's go. Here we go. Here's the pieces. We're financially and emotionally better, yeah, better, much better places. Yeah. So, love it. Yeah. Thank you all so much. You can find Lisa and Alan at boundtojournal.com. See their amazing work over there, what they're doing. Uh, I'm just so grateful for the two of you. I've gotten chills like multiple times as you've been talking and sharing. And I hope that your message can help change someone else's life, give them the confidence to jump in, jump forward so that they can get their business set up online and just find some of the joys that you all are finding because that's what we really want for people. Um, We really want them to just find the joy and the happiness and and for business to not be stressful, but be joyful and and successful at the same time. So Mm -hmm. thank you all for coming on on the podcast, for sharing your thoughts with us. And I can't wait for people to go and check you out and follow you on your journey. 